Hi everyone, in this video I installed not one, not two, but three stall tracks for my turntable. So let's stop stalling and see how I installed these stall tracks. It's free! For this installation I used figure 9 from the Atlas 305 turntable instructions. I also used these lifelike lighted bumpers and 9 inch straight snap track. The bumpers came with soldered rail joiners. So using my pliers, I remove them and then switch the track around to have smooth rails. I use foam track bed under each stall track. I first measured the length of the track bed by placing the 9 inch straight track with bumper on the foam. Then taking my exacto knife, I cut the foam. I left some extra just in case. I did this three times. When I placed it on my layout, I realized I did not take into account the space of track that would cover the turntable and not need foam. So I trimmed the end of it with my knife. I did this three times. I then placed all three stall tracks into their position to get a feel for what it would look like. Once I was satisfied with the look, it was time to secure the foam track bed in place. I tested my first stall track with a tank car to make sure the rails were aligned and that the gap did not derail the car. To secure the track temporarily, I used some pins. Then, using my expensive foam pencil, I traced the track. I removed the pins and the track and then spread some foam tack glue covering the entire area. I put down the foam and pressed firmly, putting it into its proper place. Pins were used to make sure nothing moved and to prevent the ends from curling. I did this three times. Now to wire the track, and I know three ways to do this. One is to use terminal joiners, which is what I used because the second method I know requires a soldering iron. The third method is to use these terminal tracks. Whichever method you choose, make sure you know which rail goes to which wire. I placed my contraption gently onto the foam and marked where my feeder wires would go using a pin. I did this three times. Using my drill, I drilled into the center of the foam where I marked it with a pin, making sure to go through the track bed, the one inch foam, and the plywood. I then fed one of the terminal wires through the hole. In my case, I started with the wire furthest away from the control panel, making it the wire that would go to switch number two. Remember, from my turntable inst installation video, Switch number one controls the turntable track. It's important to be consistent with your rail wiring. This is where figure nine from the instructions came in real handy. Before I slipped the second wire down the hole, I went underneath my layout and marked the first wire with tape so I would know which wire goes where. I then fed the second wire, which will go to the common wire grouping, through the hole and pulled both wires fairly snug, making the track sit on the foam track bed. I then, oh wait, let's go back. I forgot to say something. I did this three times. I then screw the switch wire to the second switch on the Atlas selector. This will control the track power. And because my bumpers are lighted, it will also control the light. Now, when it came time to attach my common wire, I ran into a small problem. I had seven wires in the same wire nut. Five wires for my blocks, one for the turntable, and one going to the control panel. I needed to add three more wires, and in the future, even more if I want to install more stall tracks. So what I did was I made a daisy chain using several wire nuts. I marked the wire going from the chain to the control panel with tape so it's easier for me to find. With the track now in place, I turned the table to make sure it cleared the track in both directions. And then I tested the track alignment to make sure there were no kinks or gaps. Once I was satisfied, I pinned the track down. Guess how many times I did this? You'll notice the light goes on when the track power is on and only lights up when the speed control goes up. The more juice I give, the brighter the light. Does anyone know how I can turn on the track and have the light go on without turning the speed control? Please leave a comment if so. I tested the track with my CN locomotive and it worked very well. Here's a clip of all three saw tracks installed, switched on and the speed control at max. I turned off the light to show how bright the bulbs can go. 
And there you have it, three stall tracks successfully installed. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any tricks, tips, or suggestions on how to improve this setup, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and feel free to share this video with three friends.